On the morning of a crucial National Cabinet meeting to cap coal and gas prices, talks have shifted towards direct compensation for affected households and businesses. Live to Sky News political reporter Joel Philp. Joel, talk us through the latest of what could come out of today's virtual meeting. Well, Danica, the New South Wales government has made it clear they are willing to take a hit to their coffers and introduce a cap on coal in that state, even though it would reduce the royalties that the state gets from those high prices, but they want taxpayers to be compensated. The Australian is reporting the New South Wales government is pushing for rebates for high energy prices that could last six to 12 months until they're expected to flatten out, which could be worth up to $280 per household. The New South Wales Energy Minister Matt Keenwell, who was only willing to say publicly yesterday that he wants to see compensation for those affected by the price cap, not the higher prices. A small difference in semantics, would, which could be worth around $280 for most of us. Take a listen. We are not here today asking for compensation uh, for loss in coal royalties. We're here seeking support for families and businesses who could be impacted by a cap on coal prices. Our focus is on getting electricity prices down. The Queensland Energy Minister remained tight-lipped about what his government was willing to accept as part of these negotiations, but he did say that he will take the energy deal that was uh, that was organised by and agreed to by the Energy Ministers yesterday to the Premier uh, ahead of her negotiations with the Prime Minister at that virtual National Cabinet today. What was agreed to by the Energy Ministers yesterday? Well, that was a capacity mechanism which is focused around renewable energy. The, the government will effectively be underwriting the cost of dispatchable renewable energy and the energy minister Chris Bowen says it's about keeping the lights on during the net zero trans transition. Now what's the capacity mechanism? It's a keeping the lights on mechanism. This is a sensible carefully designed mechanism which will unleash investment in clean dispatchable energy right across Australia. So it seems that while the business community has been warning that caps on fossil fuels could stifle investments in those industries, governments across the country are more than keen to be pushing ahead with spurring on investments in renewables. Joel Philp, thank you.